The Interactive Health Data Application from Alberta Health covers population, health status, and determinants of health in the province of Alberta, including demographics, vital statistics and population projections, chronic and infectious diseases, addictions, mental health, and injury, immunization and health service utilization, and maternal and child health indicators. This video will show you how to access and use the Provincial Interactive Health Data Tool starting at alberta.ca. Select the Health link. Next, select Health Data Research and Standards. Select Interactive Health Data. Follow the link to the Interactive Health Data Application website. Select IHDA Data and enter. Scroll down until you see the health indicator or topic area that is most likely to have the statistics or numbers you are looking for. Let's choose demographics. From the drop down, I need to choose a data set that would match the information question that I have. So if I'm interested in a population projection of preschool children in neighborhoods, in Edmonton, I could use, I would choose something like the population projections by local area, both sexes, 2018 to 2047. This data set will most likely help me answer my question. From here, I need to make additional selections to narrow down the results that I will see in the data table that's being generated. Because I'm interested in Edmonton neighborhoods, I scroll down in the geography box until I see the neighborhoods or zones in Edmonton. And to select more than one option, I, not, I can either click and drag, or I can use my shift key and hold it down to make my selections. Now all of the Edmonton neighborhoods are selected. From the age category, I'm going to choose one-year-olds to four-year-olds to help me out with my question. And from the year category, I will scroll down because I'm not looking for past data, but you can see how much data is available to me if I did want to have a look at past data. And I'm looking at a projection. Let's see what the neighborhoods are going to look like in 2030. And now I can go to my results. From this data table, I can see uh, the neighborhood on the left, followed by um, the year projection year, which is 2030, and then the age range I have selected, and then the population number. If I'm interested in knowing which neighborhood in Edmonton is projected to have the highest population of preschool age children, I can sort my data by population and descending so that the highest number is on top. And now I see that Edmonton Rutherford is projected by far to have the highest uh, population between the ages of one and four uh, children uh, by the year 2030, with lowest projected numbers being for Edmonton Abbotsfield at 787.